So I'm just getting out here for a service call for no heat on this train uh, 1510 package unit. Um, it's a gas pack, so we have gas as our main source of heat on it. Uh, this is one of our maintenance customers. Um, this system also is on a zoned system that I can pull up remotely. So I pulled it up. I could tell that it was trying to heat. It just wasn't keeping up. Um, I think everything was set to like 70 degrees and everything was in the low 60s for the most part or mid 60s. So I could tell it was trying. It just wasn't quite getting it there. Um, we have some abnormally cold weather for the Pacific Northwest. I think it's like five degrees right now or something like that, which is really cold for our neck of the woods. Um, so I got out here, first thing I kind of did, I noticed right away that the thing was running, the heat was running. So I knew my heat was coming on, which I kind of had a hunch on that just from when I pulled up um, everything remotely, like I said. Um, so the next thing is I pulled off my panel right here that has your filter access and stuff like that. Because my next hunch was that it was bringing in too much outside air with the economizer. So when I pulled that off, I could see the the veins were open quite a bit. I mean, I had pretty good sized gaps on my economizer. Um, and I think what happened is when COVID was ramping up and everything like that, this site uh, is a, a retirement home and they were really adamant on wanting a lot of outside air just to help bring in new fresh air. Um, well now, unfortunately, since it's so cold, um, it's, just, it's just too much outside air. So it's sucking in five degree air and by the time it's getting to the space, it's just not uh, not enough oomph to, to get it up to the set points. Um, so what I did is, uh, right here is my uh, economizer controls. Um, let me climb up here without eating shit. Um, so right here is my economizer control. Uh, this is one of the pretty easy ones. Right here, this is my, my damper louvers for the outside air. Um, and this one that's labeled DCV up here up top is basically like my my position that the economizer is just um, hanging out in. So like, why is that, you can see I'm gonna adjust it just so I can show you. I'm gonna adjust it open. Um, so I just turn this clockwise, which should start to open uh, these damper louvers here. Uh, it has a little bit of a delay, um, but it should start to open just a little bit. Um, of course, it's gonna feel like forever now that we're staring at it. Uh, there it goes right now. It's starting to slowly move. So you can kind of see these little gears on the side starting to move right here. And you can see the louver just starting to open. Um, so now I'm getting that gap right here. And they're just going to keep opening uh, to let in outside air. So when I got here, like I said, they were pretty big gaps. Like, I mean, they're probably a three inch gap or something like that. It was bringing in way too much outside air. Um, so with me closing it down, um, I'm going to kind of shut it back down here with me kind of just closing down the, um, uh, the outside air damper down again. That should help this site keep up. And uh, I think we should be good to go on that. I can hear that belt's getting a little squeaky too, so I'm going to see. I think I saw a spare belt in that unit. Um, if there is, I might throw a new belt in there just because that one's definitely getting pretty noisy. Um, but that is what I am seeing right now. Uh, pretty straightforward, easy call. I kind of had a hunch that's what was going on before I even got out here. Um, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And thank you guys for watching.